guys welcome back to my channel my name is sierra and today i am playing hooked on you a dead by daylight dating sim um i actually fun fact recorded 30 minutes of this game just for none of the audio to work at all and i it hurt it made me mad <laughs> so um a lot of my genuine reaction wasn't even caught on camera so that's great oh i broke it already so yeah so we're gonna get started my name is sierra and yeah so here we are cough 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 you wake up on the beach soaking wet salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air you have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? You need a minute or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Endless time, really. Oh, an eternity, if you catch my drift. Whoa, not now, Ocean. Sorry, Sierra. May I continue? Please, go on. Okay, then, as I was... <coughs> as I was saying... You look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grosket discovery. Um, a head. Yum. A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit a stream of dark, vile bugs and worms and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How'd you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Um, I'm gonna dig up that face. You brush the sand away from the half-buried human head embedded in the ground before you. Oh, he has a pendant for me. There is no body, just this head. As you pick it up, flakes of skin fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotting tongue of this poor dead soul. Getting your hands dirty, I see. I like that. You take your take tar charge type. You got a present. You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. The sun peeks down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, and so you deposit it. Why, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? No thanks. No thanks. Look, I'm gonna level with you here. That coin you found, it's mine. I dropped it yesterday, and I've been looking all over for it dropped it into a dead person's mouth? Could you just give it back? No. Psh, be that way then. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer on your current situation as you feel something soft bump into your foot. A volleyball. With blood on it. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand next to you. You stare down, frozen. A voice calls out from behind you. A little help, please? You turn around and... You and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground. The hundred. She's so buff. <laughs> my guy. He's iconic. Oh, oh my god, this spirit. <laughs> and of course, the trapper. Look at his hands, they're so bloody. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Each of them oozes with undead energy, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed, let's call them killers. I don't know, not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. Spoiler alert, they are the killers. And dead by daylight. <laughs> So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you're completely paralyzed. Hello? There are weird days and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at the monstrous line above. Well, literal monsters. Sexy monsters, though. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Toss it back. 
You bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. When you give the ball a toss, it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hand. Not bad, stranger. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her. Look up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Oh no, I need a voice for spirit. Try hard, much? What? They're speaking directly to you, but you can't bring yourself to reply. You're in trance. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion on their private beach. Should you be frightened, worried, and excited? I did refer to them as killers, not to get too much away. But at the same time, they are looking very appealing in their own way, and nobody so much as lifted a blood so thing. This would be a nice to me. Just kidding. Don't be scared, too. It's not made for this. Well, jeez, if Spooky Ocean Boy says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to go down. Ugh, I'm sorry. <laughs> with, no good, with no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. <sighs> so much reading. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. Oh no, he needs a voice. You you derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's just best to go with what Trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who looks, who always seems to have fresh blood on their hands. That's gross. Imagine only being bloody. Nothing. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just it all. It oh, I can't read. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. What was her voice? Beside. Be be sat. What was her? Uh, uh, be sat. I forgot what voice I gave her. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than just a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? She kind of turned into like California. Sorry, Andres. You mean they're not, they're here to do more than distract from my total denomination? That's a horrible voice. I need a new one. That was rad. That sign means he was done with the game, too. Either that, or he saw a butterfly or something. Look, I don't care why this slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? No, mister. You know, oh, you know you can't. At least, not yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey, Sarah, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind, there'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. Be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a timed quiz and will be very important later. Very important. Or not important anyway whatsoever. Probably that one. I can't remember. How attractive would you say you are? Very. I s I'd say I'm very attractive. That's what you think very attractive is compared to this. Trapper flexes and his muscles are so tight you can practically see the blood running through his face. That's disgusting. Oh no, he needs a voice. Although sometimes I already think I am. What is your best subject in school? Skipping class. I would say I measured, measured in skipping class. If I had ever gone to school, I'm, pretty, I'm sure I would have done great skipping class. I prefer skipping over all walking almost all. What's your favorite one? Doggy. Doggy. You are absolutely adorable in the puppy nights. What's your favorite color? Um. Red. Some call it the color of black, but what does it not ever for pain? True. It is your dream job. Not working at all. It takes a lot of courage to break through some society's expectations to climb the ladder. Only she could spin laziness into some sort of grand crusade. These not brought. I got a millennial. Best flavor of ice cream. But now it's actually cookie dough, but my favorite flavor is pain. Same. Same pain. I miss the more strong with pain. I think bin chip is the greatest flavor I've ever seen myself, but I'm not that ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second. This reminds me. I am right. Always. It's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. I feel like 
kind of like an ocean, uh, like a, a voice. But I don't know what. <laughs> We're teaching lessons now, narrator. You rascal, killer be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best way for ice cream? Mint chip. So I'm eating. I feel like, I don't know. What would ocean sound like? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the cook wants you to get started to know them. I'm Trapper. Oh, I'm Trapper. I pretty much only think so around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. So, can I keep in mind? He's got such I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Rob. are just, you know, great. It's a real special trip. And you thought it was bad when he stayed quiet. Oh no, I need more voices. Hold on. What's striking me? Just for one moment. This is like Prada, our activities coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help we need on the This place we call Murder Island. Cute, dramatic, musical sports. survived. Ahem, survived the interview process, I mean, hence why we should all, why we shall prepare hetero for, refer them as survivors with a capital X. These two have worked for a long time, so very long, I actually don't know how long it's been. Sorry, anyways, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. We will now escort the group to the venue on your team. Don't 
which is why I'm not going to use that kind of a super fast. We don't have much anatomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you could do for us is help us get off this is to why? Yes, pardon me. Please, follow us. Hey, narrator? Yes, something I can help you with? These two, Vada and Dwight. Did they just start to match with something about wanting to escape? Is an escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape them? Oh, no, no, no. I think you're mistaken. It seems Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. Oh, right. That. Yes, that's true. He was, but he just meant that he wants to get the other vacation island getaway a couple miles away south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there with all that money. It comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter, mostly. When I agree with them, not like that other island. So, when you do this? Rack mooses ahead to the pool at a pace that could almost be considered jaunty if a creature's if a creature so lanky they appear to make it what the I am having um uh, I don't know. Anyways, um what's going on with Rack's face? Is that a smile? Is that what a smile looks like when he does it? What can I say? Mm, below the bell waters and he don't it's quiet, it's ominous, and you know, Rack looks back over his shoulder to make sure no one beside you is within earshot. Super normal stuff here, as you. Oh great, it's Clara and Dwight. What do these two want? Today we go that pool. We figured we'd bring some of our most popular pool accessories. See her. Which one of these particularly interesting me? Inflatable laundry. Sleeping during the day, completely out in the open like this? You're really making yourself a target. If someone were to, I don't know, try and throw an axe directly at you, well, sh sure you'd be busy to, s sure you'd be easy to see. I'm saying I'd do that to you. I prefer a challenge. Interest may not be into it, but it surely affects your co-signs this choice since she immediately sticks the coolest one. It's in the shape of a casket. A really cute casket. I don't want to do water, but as long as I'm floating on top of it, that's fine, I guess. Spirit grabs you the black unicorn floaty and sets it in the water next to her. And since you also enjoy the fine art relaxing, here, you could share my umbrella. Oh, come on. That's charming. Something about the water and being this close to spirit is putting you in a playful mood you might regret. Do you splash her? Just a little bit? I promise she doesn't have a cell phone in her pocket. She died before they got popular. You splash in the spirit's direction ever since so She looks enraged. And then giggles. I didn't see that coming. Do it again and I'll cut your Do it again and I'll cut your hair off. For a waking nightmare, you can almost believe that you're starting to relax a bit and forget about how much you can't remember. As if the sun's very rays have calming effect on you, your body tranquilized by the soft light from overhead, coupled with the clear breeze rolling in from the sea, and you're not alone. I feel recharged by the gentle warmth of the ocean's caress. I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> if, if, if it was a little too warm, I'd have been like, this voice has changed every time. Also, this pool, also, this is a pool, not the ocean. Okay, everyone, just let him finish. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. I know this probably doesn't seem like me, but would anyone want to play with me? A game of my controller? Yes, I love games! I'll go first. Someone blindfolded me. Of course, Trapper has a blindfold ready to go. As it's as if he had it in his hands before he even spoke. Ugh, and did he just wink? And did you just bite your lip? Good thing you're getting rained in, because it sure seems like you're about to act up. That was a good game. I think we celebrate. I joined this waiter whose name I forgot until the pool. I'm gonna defend twice. Knock it off. Thank you, Zira. I'm all for your taste. I mean, I'm right, but every time I come to the day, I seem to forget every specific detail in my life. I'm not because it's a boy and as a person. But that was the glorious thing. I mean, I'm not mistaken, even though I was like, on the content narrator, I probably should be. But I think that means it's time 
Right for the next activity. Seems like the next activity is meal time. How cute. You are expecting what? Capture the bar? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking. We were right ahead of the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fantasy epic like you find on cake. Dying thought I'd push you to your seat, but there's very little nice eating directly around you. And oh, right. Terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wrath or Trickster. I love Trickster. Oh yeah, Trickster is good. Surprise? Yeah, well, don't call him Expected Star. Sorry, even I get nervous when I'm crowds. Okay, my whole shtick gets a little sick. Um. <laughs> hey there, you don't even get to up for me, okay? That's horrible. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper, Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the tables they sit side by side. Look at this. We can't even fit everyone on screen at the same time. You probably think it was your parents, but it's not. It's completely intentional. Let that be a lesson to you. Every error you think you see is a choice. On one side, the rest of them will sit opposite. Huntress and Trapper can sit at the ends of those enormous seats. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin. This meal was so was prepared so carefully and both on the heat for so long over a stick. We all hope you enjoy. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you can actually tell us what you're serving. What are you eating? It's me. Season with a specific number of special herbs and spices that we simply can't find. My favorite. Meat is good. Meat is my best. But you know, considering what you did up to, who are you to get judgy now? I'm just sharing facts, and you need to murder someone to eat its meat, so that's like technically true. Technically true is the best guy to do. Okay, yeah. Enough yapping. Let's eat. Hey, Sierra, you think what I'm thinking? Just set off Siri. <laughs> it's gonna be the person on that spit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, but I haven't seen any pigs wearing palm trees up and down prints, you know? When you look closely at the spit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. I think that might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? That's the clown powder. And we literally do everything on the same. Actually, there's one thing you're not gonna do carving up the delightful meal. He's right for a change because I am with my broad axe. It's, too, it's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in time. First, who says twin? So that is where we're, we're all from completely different skills for areas. Second, I'll handle this with my clutter. Clutter? That is powerful and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No. Oh, you two in a ridiculous spice of cinnamon and enough. Close up. Obviously, my gorgeous katana is the only option I I'll show you both my katana if you need. Get you my help if you like. Please stop, please don't hit me. Or talk, or even when we look at each other in the eye. I can do it. I have this gold as well. Great, instead of slicing up, you can club it to a second nap. Hey, Sierra, I know this isn't what you want to eat, but hurry up and volunteer to carve fuels. I mean, dinner. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No hyper, 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 hyper. Moving on. They once argued over who had the most effective weapons for 72 straight hours. And it doesn't matter which one does it. When they're done, they'll even take they'll take even longer clean their weapon, all while explaining the value of maintaining these three tools. Despite being a bunch of bl cold-blooded killers, for some reason they're always terrified of tenderness. Hey, why don't you just let me carve up dinner? Splendid idea. We hate for it to get cold. We hated it when it got cold. Here's a machete. Wallace, that's possibly the sexiest thing I've ever seen that didn't involve dismemberment. Maybe we should skip dinner. Settle down, let's not get ahead of ourselves. And remember, Sarah, don't show all your cards just yet. You don't want them to expect anything. Dinner is finally served. For real. This sounds especially coming from this mass killer while they eat, which involves lifting their mask and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's like the only one who 
seem to be embracing being dead. But they're all dead, right? This is obviously help. I mean, come on, we're just trying to be mysterious here. Anything mysterious becomes easy. But I like that all of us have been working to make this night perfect. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to match stuff over here. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? The best two things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about it, Spirit. Number two is no number two. One less thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually follow. I might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dismembered body parts floating in this bed this one. Do you see how deep this cut is on my abdomen? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. Between the food and the behavior of the group, this might be the worst meal in history. But even worse is they're staring at you. They're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you tell them? Wow. You ever see a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, what were we talking about? Elaine, Miss Direct. Yeah, she's right here. Very long. Mm -hmm. Never compromise. Didn't you watch the Columbus Island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? You have no idea. I don't have I, I can't do his voice. You have no idea the last time you ate a real meal. And you've been standing in the sun. Not the sequel. Uh oh. He just made a lot of good points. I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. And you have that meal. Maybe you need to eat. Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait. You haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. <laughs> Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh hey, it's me again, your friend, mentor, and guide, narrator to the narrator, the ocean. Not sure if you're how I feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one who can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. No one can tell you, not unless you follow the right path, or at least a right path. There's too many of those to count. Hopefully you can pick at least one of them. But there are even more wrong paths. Many of them but lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting scenes over and having to fast forward back to where you were, am I right? For this place holds many secrets, even from itself, but the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth, the ultimate truth. Vague, mysterious. I gotta give it up to this ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. Hold on, I'm back. One more piece of advice. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I liked, some of them I did not. It's in your best interest to make more choices that I like. For the choices might be yours to make. They're mine to reward. And if you want to truly succeed in this place, you'll need my help. You wake up to find Rath holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cool water into your mouth. Now that you're finally alone, Rath looks at you eagerly. I don't care if the seagull actually winked at you, but I understand the feeling of looking at you from so far away and wanting to reach out. But did it wave at you? No. I made it up. Oh, well, um, thanks for putting me on this one. Um, how do I say this? It's just, honesty is important to me. I've been burned too many times. Something about the word burned makes wrath look away. Far away, eyes burning with tears, and yet, at the same time, dead. Understand. Wrath looks back at you with those sad eyes, wanting so badly to believe you. He looks down at the ground. I have something very important to tell you. It's about something very special to me. It's not something I tell everyone, but you know how important honesty is to me. I can't expect that from you if you're not honest in return. Oh great, I bet he's got crap. It's about my special bell. Thank you. 
flurry of footsteps behind him and quickly spin around, ready to fend off whatever new danger has popped up on the second island. I'm going to find a giant quadrant sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they are waving in the air above their heads. It's very important that we stick to our itinerary and attend an event as scheduled. Playing sick for the cute flirt is not part of this evening's activities. That strength and slaughter are after campfire story time at this rate. Oh, wait. Playing sick? No, I was. No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that schedule is for after. What comes after the flirty? Come, come, come. And. That is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but. I think. It's fun and funny, um, and I think I'm going to do an actual let's play of this um, game, so I hope you guys enjoyed it because I think it's coming back. <laughs> um, make sure to give this video a like if you liked it and leave me a comment. Um, I don't know. I'd let me know what you think of this game. I think it's funny. These dating simulator games are so funny. Um, I played the KFC one and I think I need to go back. I think I need to finish that one. They just have so much talking, you know, but... Yeah, let me know what you think about this game, and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. Bye!